satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good. This is Billy Ray Valentine from TFNN, located in, I believe it's St. Petersburg, Florida now. Anyway, folks, Billy Ray went to confession today, and he's going to say, Mea copa, mea copa, mea moxi, mea copa. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. And that sin is, boy, I missed one hell of a leg up in these stock markets. I posted the chart here of the perfect sale we had yesterday at 38.20. That was the high, 38.25. The market dropped 30 handles. Now, I posted the one for the Dow Jones. I'll do the one for the S&P. You see the previous day's low to the high was exactly 3.82. Today, exactly 3.82. And it's staying there, and I am getting ready to send out a video uh, about being careful about this. And guess what? Windows switched me from Windows 10 to 11 or something happened that it shut me down. And I could, I had to get help. It took me about an hour to get the help. I know it's no excuse. But we hit this absolute perfect 382 here. And gosh, I said, oh, my gosh. I had a 30-point handle in it, so at least the worst would happen that uh, you would have either booked some of it or you would have had a, a break-even trade, you know, at the at the very worst. Now, uh, the uh, the next one I want to show you, of course, is the is the E Mini S and P. A little bit different because uh, it was uh, making a 382 of yesterday's also, but I only have that distance put in there. I didn't have all three days put in, but you'll be able to see we were setting right there exactly at the 382 spot uh, from yesterday and it was an ABCD you can see the ABCD and it just stayed there and stayed there and stayed there and I said oh brother I said I know what this is and then as you can see here by the time I did the Dow Jones one and then looked at the E-mini you can see how much it jumped in just a few minutes so I am going to have a telegram channel this week I've already got one set up. All i got to figure out is how to use it. These things will be sent to you instantly, and you won't have to uh, uh, worry about uh, email or anything like that. It'll come to you uh, instantaneously, and you can get an idea of what I'm looking at. I'm not right all the time, but some of these things are so doggone clear that uh, you, you have to be a blind man to miss the darn things. And speaking of being a blind man, let's take a look at this one yesterday that we were talking about. This is, you think these numbers, they don't use these numbers, folks? Just look at this. This is gold, you know, one of the most actively traded things in the world, certainly in the top 10 of the commodity group. You can see the previous day's low exactly at the 50% level. We rallied to the 382 where we said that would be a pretty good sale up there at 58. We come all the way down 18 handles down or 16 handles down to uh, 41, the exact to the tick. 61% retracement of the low back here. And as you can see here, we've already exploded up uh, $17. So those are the ones that you like to see, and we'll see what happens with the rest of these. But that's what we're looking at uh, right now. Now, I had a question about uh, one other thing that I talked about yesterday, and that was, if I can find it, oh, the chart of, just a second, get it up here, uh, about that Elliott Wave stuff, just a minute. The person asked about this, and let me get this up here, and I'll try to answer it the best I could. The person that was calling was about a Wyckoff person, okay? Now, those of you that look, look at Wyckoff, they're always using these waves analysis like this and swings. They also use these types of things like this. Now, all Elliot did, he, he made those one, two, three, four, fives and things like that. He was at the same time as James Wyckoff. Uh, uh, Schellenberger and uh, Schellenberger, what was the guy's name? That I can't remember the, the nephew of uh, Murphy of uh, John's of Murphy, John Murphy. No, no, no. What is it? Uh, what? I, oh, my mind has gone blank here for a second, folks. Uh, 
but anyway, he was the son-in-law of uh, Schaubacher. Schaubacher was the one. And anyway, his his uh, son-in-law started uh, Edwards and McGee. He was McGee of Edwards and McGee. Okay, and they used these same types of things. These guys all lived during the same time, just like I'm. Li- I've lived with Peter Lighties and Larry Williams and all these things. None of nothing's new. Nothing, nothing's new under the sun. It's still bar charts. That's all it is. Whether you call it uh, a pumpkin or a grapefruit, it don't make any difference. It still swings. So I, I don't get too much involved with that. I, I, I have a hard time with Elliot because I can't figure out the uh, you know that number three or number five. That was probably because the four years I was in the fifth grade, I had trouble with mathematics. But that's neither here nor there. But we have busted through to the upside on some of these things, folks. The only thing that we have going today is a uh, solar eclipse with a new moon and it is a big one because it's october we got the uh new moon and then we have you're going to see a spectacular uh full moon in uh seven days folks oh my gosh it's going to be really uh it, excuse me in 14 days you're going to see a, a spectacular full moon it's going to be really really amazing now the other one that's interesting folks and we have been mentioning it uh, along the way here has been the U.S. dollar index. And that U.S. dollar index has broken now down below the level that we were looking at, which was right around the 110. Let me get this up here. That was the reason for the big move in the British pound. They can say what they want, but, uh, you know, when Richie Sunak, uh, when, when this market was right on its tail in the British pound, the news was so bearish, the British pound was going under bankruptcy, whatever they wanted to call it. What is it? It's happy days over there now because Sunak is an ex-Goldman Sachs banker and I'm sure he'll do a lot of things to help turn the country around. But what we've done here is after we hit this level right up here and we broke below this level now, we're going to be making an A, B, C, D. It's going to be our first one in a long time and that'll be down in here and that'll tell us whether the U.S. dollar index has got any wheels or not. You know, if you look at the if you look at the euro, which we're going to in just a minute, uh, when we come back from the break, you're going to be able to see that this is nothing more than another A B C D rally in a bear market. Just like this is an A B C D rally in a bull market. You see, you got your A B C C's right there, and D is right down here. Is where you'd be looking at. That's around 109, I believe, or 108. So that's where we'll find out whether this has any legs or not. We saw some indications of it, of course, you know, but that's basically it. Folks, the key to that market for me was when that news was so bullish, on, bearish on the British pound last week, and I was short the euro and the pound, and I told the folks, tighten up your stops. I said, move your stops 20, 20 pips above the last swing high because uh, – this market should not be going up at all, and it was already starting to rally, and it had a hell of a rally. The stupid part, and then i got to give another mea copa, mea copa, mea maxima copa, is why didn't I go long? And I you know, had a lot of other things going on, so I figured that was uh, the main reason uh, why I did it. But that's what trading is all about, folks. It's all it's about. We'll take a break. Jeff Hughes is our guest. Alpha Insights at the break. 1.30. Stay tuned. Teddy Kegstad has just announced a live webinar coming up for subscribers to his newsletter, The Tiger Forex Report. Wednesday, October 26th at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, Teddy will be hosting a live 60-minute webinar, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report Newsletter. In this 60-minute webinar, Teddy will be discussing a full breakdown of the markets that influence currency pairs, as well as applying those variables to individual currency pairs, how to evaluate trading scenarios, for risk versus reward, as well as a live question and answer session. Sign up now and gain instant access to this live webinar coming up, as well as a month subscription to Teddy's Tiger Forex Report, which comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this live webinar event with Teddy Kegstat Wednesday, October 26th. Sign up now for the Tiger Forex Report at the front page of TFNN.com. 
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, uh, Larry Pesavano for TFNN, and we're going to do something a little different right now. I think it's going to be a real treat, but we never know. We have on the line Henry, who happens to be one of my students that I met over in London. And Henry, are you there? Hi, Larry. How you doing? I'm doing good, my friend. Now, uh, people have asked me many times, you know, the, the trader that made that $100,000 in a couple of days back when the market was collapsing and that happened to be you i believe is that correct yes okay now listen henry what i'd like for you to do and i want you to be no holds barred you know i'm 82 years old because you can't hurt my feelings or anything but i want you to tell me about how the journey has been since you start looking at numbers uh, fibonacci numbers and patterns and stuff like that because you know the road's not been smooth and everybody already knows that but could you just give them a rough idea of what you've learned and you know the things that you're looking forward to and stuff yeah of course so um ever studied Fibonacci sequences before. Um, I found it that it, it explained all these crazy reversals that sometimes, you know, the market's ripping up and suddenly it just pivots and turns and it's like, you know, the uptrend never existed. You know, all these, um, you know, rallies that we've had recently that look like amazing starts to a new bull trend um, suddenly reverse and turn at the 618 and it's just something I never watched before, you know, whether it's a 618 or a 382. Um, I would say that the hardest part is that nothing works all the time. So at the end of the day, I feel like having success from any trading strategy, it's a big part about how you manage yourself uh, in That's response right. to winning or losing. That's so, great. you know, nobody out there can tell you um, this is your 100% winner setup, you know, trade this, you'll never lose. But I think that's what most people are looking for. That's true. Now, Henry, you're an, a very aggressive trader, as I, as we've chatted several times. Well, more than several times. But uh, do you do, are you still using the aggressive approach, or are you backing off a little bit? How is that working? Um, my best trades will tend to run hard right from the get go, and I like to add to them, so that if I'm wrong, you know, you get out fast. If I'm right start adding leverage to the position uh, that the market's breaking out for you nicely. So mm -hmm. in a game that you just never know if it's going to run good or bad, 
you just can't tell until the trade gets going. That's right. That's for sure. And I know you've followed Tom Hugard for quite a bit, and you've followed along with him quite a bit. So is there any any advice you'd like to give anybody that's uh, you know into starting trading and stuff that you'd like to tell them not to give up, or what would you what would you suggest? I think the most important advice I'd give myself um, starting out is that remember there is no holy grail. Um, whatever you do in trading, you're going to make a lot of mistakes. We're going to be wrong a lot. And yep. getting a handle on just being wrong and accepting that quickly can be very difficult to do. Um, yes, it if you is. come from an engineering or scientific background, you kind of want to look for uh, facts or things that just work all the time, some kind of magical formula. And it's just not there in the markets. I mean, there's billions of people out there uh, trading these markets, and you uh -huh. can't possibly call it every single time. But, yeah. you know, in nature and in markets, you see these repeating fractal patterns over and over again. There's something to it, right? We're all Absolutely, humans, yeah. Or um, computer training algorithms written by humans. And so these patterns just keep appearing. So you got to yeah. keep the faith that, you know, you'll bag a few winners, and if you run them hard, uh, the P&L will be good by the end of the month. That's it. It's, that's the name of Listen, I want you to thank you for you know joining us today. I know you're a little tentative to be on this uh, this uh, wonderful show that we have here at TFNN, but uh, you were you were great, Henry. Just keep up the good work and uh, baby steps, my friend. Okay, baby steps. You're doing great. Thanks, Larry. Thank you, buddy. Okay, folks, that's a little bit about what's going on now. What you learned from this him being also a follower of Tom Hugard. Tom has written a book called The Best Loser Wins. And folks, that's what you really got to focus on. You got to focus on the losing trades. Forget about the winners because when they go, you're going to make a pretty good money. And when you're wrong, you want to get out right away. It's very frustrating today from my point of view because, uh, you know, we we had a couple of trades, of course, that were lined up really good. The gold and the crude oil lined up really nice and the treasury notes and treasury bonds. But to have that stock market act so perfectly at the 382, at 3820, and then go down there and sit right at the 382 of yesterday's low for a good 30 minutes and, and then have computer problems during – I'm not blaming the computer or everything, but, you know, it, it turned out – to be, you know, it made a small amount of money, but look, I mean, the thing just exploded to the upside. And, uh, you know, you've sometimes, Mark used to sit here, Mark Douglas used to sit here in the office. He said, Larry, he said, if you reverse, he said, you'll make a lot more money. And I can steer his voice. He's got his hand on my shoulder right now. And I can steer here his voice says, you can do it, you can do it. And we tried for two years. And I'm just not a very good reversal trader. Every time I start to get in there, and do a reversal, oh, I get bit on the hand or someplace else of a body part. So I'm not too good at that, but the other things I'm pretty good at is seeing when that pattern completes. I know when the pattern's ready to go, and we'll see it. Regarding the Telegram channel, it's all set up. It's trading tutor. Uh, you won't be able – you'll start getting something hopefully in a day or two. Uh, I'll get all the information out to you, all of those you did subscribe to the 24-7 and our students and stuff. So we'll have uh, – get instant it'll be instantaneous just as i hit the button you'll see it just like i do so there's no excuses of getting it a half hour late or anything like that i'm not going to be doing it all 24 you know 24 hours a day i'm not going to be doing it all day long but when i see something that really warrants my attention i'm going to be in there showing you today that was one of those times when we had the dow jones and the e mini s and p just sitting there at the 382 breathing hard they could have gone either way but you know if you're short you wanted to be sure to protect your profits but if you got a 30 point handle in the s and p and you're only risking 15 handles you know you've doubled your money so you should have booked something you know especially when it starts back so quickly you got to realize when markets come back so fast like this you know they're they they want to go higher especially on the day we've got a emotion of the solar eclipse today and the new moon that's even even uh more emotion so this is the start of that lunar cycle here so it's going to be uh, quite interesting to see how we end up here uh at the uh, end of the month now our guest here at the break hopefully will be jeff hughes but we've had so much stuff going on today I'm not sure he's going to be able to make it. If not, I've still got material that I'd like to cover. But I do have him scheduled uh, for today. 
and hopefully. And then tomorrow, Jim Twenty, one of my very closest and dearest friends out of the three that I got left, uh, he will be on the line here. Jim's a couple, of, about five years younger than me, but he's going to tell us about his journey of learning and how we work together at Commodity Corporation and in you know, Drexel Burnham and stuff like that. We'll have some good stories for you there. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. And I probably stopped too early, didn't I? <laughs> oh, well. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. We have Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights on the line, and I know he's uh, telling us he's got a lot of earnings coming out this, uh, this week. I think that helps these markets move pretty good. Uh, Jeff, uh, what do you think of this rally that we got going on right now? Very interesting, as always, uh, Larry. Great to be on your show today. Uh, <laughs> Thank I you. I think you hit it. You hit it right on the uh, hit the nail right on the head with the earnings releases. About forty-seven percent of the S and P five hundred market cap is reporting this week, and importantly, over the next three days, twenty-one percent in just five stocks, starting with Alphabet and Microsoft tonight after the close. Tomorrow, Meta Platforms, and Thursday night, Apple and Amazon. So those are the wow. big five, and I think what they have to say is going to have a lot of influence on whether or not this particular bear market rally, and I think that's what we're seeing since October 13th is a bear market rally. The question is whether it extends or whether it reverses. 
Yeah, that's for sure. Now, the next chart you're talking about are uh, geopolitical risks that are out there. What what are you? What's on your dashboard here? Well, it's not it's not all earnings and it's not all the Fed. There's a lot going on in the world outside of that. I think you were talking a lot about what was going on in the UK and their bond market earlier in your show. And uh, you know, we can't uh, help but you know uh, turn on the TV and hear about uh, Vladimir Putin and the latest. Uh, drama revolving around nuclear weapons and dirty bombs, et cetera. But over the last weekend, we saw a, a, you know, a crucial event take place in China, and that was the Communist Party Congress, which reelected uh, Xi Jinping to an unprecedented third term as president of China. And in fact, uh, it was so important, um, you know, he, he basically stacked his entire team, his leadership team, with loyalists, uh, basically ejecting anybody who was a reformer, including his predecessor, former Chinese President Hu Jintao, who was, you know, unexpectedly escorted out of the Congress, uh, you know, to everybody's surprise. And I think that was a statement saying, hey, we're in control now. The other thing that I thought was very interesting, Larry, was the fact that Xi actually, in his, in his, um, uh, 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 speech to the Congress stated specifically that China reserves the right to use force uh, in taking over Taiwan. And I think that there's a very, very strong probability that China will invade Taiwan or use some sort of a military action to reunify the two countries. Uh, it's been a goal. It's been on their agenda for some time. China is normally patient. But I think this is the time to strike, and they know it. And I'm not the only one who thinks this. We've been hearing this from key military officials for the last week. And these guys were absolutely right when they set up uh, uh, the idea that uh, Russia was about to invade the Ukraine. I think they're right again. I think China is teeing up for an invasion of Taiwan and to accelerate the reunification of the two countries. Wow. Okay. Now the next one is uh, brings me back to my historical days of 1974. I, I see that chart. I still get sick, but because uh, I I was long during that last part of that pink panel there. So go ahead. What you tell the folks what you're looking at here. Well, I, I was in the third grade in uh, 1974, yeah. uh, but Miss Deeks was my favorite teacher back in elementary school, so I remember it well. Um, I will tell you that this chart is probably indicative of what we can all expect to happen here. Um, 1974 was a period where the economy went into recession before the Fed uh, halted its, its tightening. They were tightening aggressively into early 1974. They ceased that tightening. It's reminiscent of what's going on right now in the U.S. in 2022. In my opinion, we're in the very early stages of a recession. Whether or not it's a deep recession or not, remains to be seen, but the Fed looks like they have over-tightened, in my opinion, and they'll probably continue to tighten at the year-end, whether it's 75 basis points on November 2nd, I think that's a lock, and then another 50 in December and a couple of 25s in the first couple of uh, meetings in 2023 to get to that neutral rate. But what happened back in 74 is we were already in recession. All that end of tightening did is is absolutely nothing. It came uh, too late in the process, and the market dropped another 66% from its lows. So uh, the total decline from peak to trough was about 54%, but the market was already down 25% when they stopped tightening, and it just kept going down. Um, I think that we have uh, we can learn a lot from this. And uh, if we think about you know, uh, where the street is positioned, everybody is looking at a Fed pivot as being a positive. I think it's the exact opposite. I think a Fed pivot will mark the next move to the downside. Okay, well, that you, you you've been right along. You've been right on this market for a long time. So, uh, I think you have to be respected for the work that you're doing. There's no question about that. Now, the next chart we're going to be looking at is this uh, major top formation chart that looks. Uh, Actually, it looks quite bearish, actually. So we'll get this up here so the folks can take a look at it. And you want to tell the folks what you're looking at? Yeah, somebody told me it looks like an igloo, but uh, it's really an <laughs> inverted cup and handle pattern. Uh, that is the dominant pattern that appears in the market today. Earlier in the year, we had identified a head and shoulders top formation, a classic pattern top 
that we counted to about 3,500 on the S&P. And that has played out. But the new dominant chart formation is an inverted cup and handle pattern that's a very large degree. And if that pattern continues to resolve to the downside, it projects to S&P 2500 ultimately. Uh huh. Well, that's now it's down quite a ways from uh, where it is right now, that's for sure. Hold on and I'll get your uh, the next chart up here and it shouldn't make, take too long here. Oh, this is Elliott Wave, so this is going to be interesting too because I uh, have a look question after we're finished here you know uh, our Elliott wave count really starts looking at this uh, this this cycle wave advance off the 2009 low up until the January 2022 high this year and we're counting that as five waves up at three degrees of trend but if we were to look back even further we think we're actually uh, terminating a super cycle wave three top at the same time and if that's the case we think we're, the correction is likely to be much, much larger than most people uh, suspect. We're in the midst of a fourth wave correction at super cycle degree, most likely. And under this rubric, it's going to trace out uh, three waves, an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave, most likely. And I think that we're still in the very early stages of the A wave, which should be a five wave impulsive decline. And if that's the case, We've only really traced out wave one and wave two. We're still in the early innings of wave three down. And if we're right about this, wave three could carry down into a target range of around 2750 to 2400 before we see the next counter trend advance of any great significance emerge. Now, um, we'd actually been talking about two Montgomery cycle turn dates, and you mentioned earlier in your show. Uh, that today is a new moon and it's also a solar eclipse. Uh, Paul McCray Montgomery marked this in his log as a major cycle turn date. And when we look back at all the cycle turn dates this year, the 10% advance that we've already experienced off the October 13th low qualifies as a um, an advance large enough to cycle reverse. So we think we're probably in the process of topping, if not today, mm. early tomorrow, because mm. the cycle actually begins with the new moon tonight in between these two trading days. Well, that's cool. I like that new moon stuff. Hey, stay with us, folks. We got Jeff Huge coming back from Alpha Insights. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, talking with Jeff Hughes of Alpha Insights, and he's got a chart saying new lows are looming ahead. So you must believe it or you wouldn't be posting it. That's right, Larry. Uh, we're looking at uh, two versions of the S&P 500 here. On the left is the past three years on a weekly basis, and on the right is the past three months at 120-minute or two-hour uh, bars. And, you know, let me focus on the right-hand side because we've been talking about this this bear market rally, and we've marked it as ABCW, X-Wave, and then we think we're tracing out the second uh, version of that ABC to the upside right now. We initially thought it might just carry to the Fibonacci 38.2% retracement, which came in around 38.10, but we're now thinking it could carry as high as the 50% retracement at 39.08. Anywhere in between there would be just fine. Uh, but the next rollover, we think, will carry down to the full moon on November 8th, uh, which we think will be a, a highly emotional period. Uh, it's with the next election uh, will be taking place on the 8th. And uh, whatever the results are, we expect uh, animal spirits to be out of control on that date. But in between, we've got a lot of action. We've got a CPI report. We've got a GDP report, and we've got a Fed meeting on November 2nd. So we think there's going to be a lot that influences the direction of the market, and we don't expect the news to be particularly good. If we're right about this, we could see this primary wave three low emerge on or about that November 8th level down around the mid 2000s on the S&P. We're kind of we're looking for that 20. 750 to 2400 range uh, to probably market. Okay, that's going to take some, uh, what I would think would be some uh, news announcement. We have plenty of that now. Last time you were on, you showed a stock breaking out that did really well. You've got another one here. ExxonMobil looks pretty good. ExxonMobil made a new all time record high yesterday and a new all time weekly closing high on Friday. Uh, this stock looks poised to us to rally to at least $130 in the intermediate term, and we think longer term it could carry all the way to $180. We've been using our stop loss at around 90 uh, which would be last week's low and also coincide with uh, the trend line, more or less, that's uh, been in force uh, since uh, late 2020. Okay. That looks pretty good. Now, we're going to do a, a quick commercial for you because you do such a good job here. Hold on. I want to get this up here so we'll be able to see it. I uh, hope this is the one. I probably hit the wrong button. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Sorry. Disregard that one, boys and girls. Hold on. Just a second, Jeff. I'll have to get this thing done correctly here. Oh, I've lost a cord. That's what the problem is. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Dog, got it. All right, here I'm back in again. There we go. Sorry, I'm just I'm having trouble with Windows today, and it's got me totally flustered. You're doing, you're still doing great. You're up on a year beating the S&P quite handily by about a uh, hundred percent, so that's pretty good. And uh, the next one we want to show the folks is how they can reach you, and I'll get that up here because you've got a super free newsletter. Uh, well, super newsletter that's free. And I think the folks should uh, take advantage of that because anything that's free is, uh, you know, worth the effort if it's got the material that like you've got in it. So tell the folks about that. 
Yeah, for sure. So, you know, take a quick victory lap. We, we've had a pretty good year in terms of performance uh, with our uh, uh, security selection work. And uh, that's something that you can uh, subscribe to for like $10 a month. Uh, basically, the cost of a cup of coffee, we publish every week our top uh, idea. But we also do a free monthly newsletter, and this is affectionately titled uh, Huge Insights, the Big Picture, where we kind of walk through all of the top-down macroeconomic data and market data, and we make a forecast, just like we're doing here on your show today, where we think the market's going to go. And, uh, you know, that's available. You can go to my website at jwhinvestment.com. Uh, it's clearly marked free newsletter. Or you can find me on Twitter at alpha underscore insights and sign up. Uh, when you click on it, you'll see this uh, sort of a picture pop up, and there's a spot where you can put your email in there and just click subscribe now. It's totally free, and you'll be added to our distribution list. And, you know, I'm always asked, Larry, uh, Jeff, we love your ideas, but, uh, you know, how, how, do we, how do we put them to work? Give us some stock ideas to trade. And so that's what, you know, becoming a member is all about. If you join our uh, service and you become a member for $10 a month, you get our top actionable trade idea every week. It's usually a stock, sometimes it's an ETF on a sector or a commodity or something like that. Uh, but, uh, you know, the, the performance track record that you flashed before is really how we've done over the last year. You know, we're up 20 percent year to date where the market's down 18 percent and about a third of our, um, um, uh, you know, picks are winners. You know, we've got a, a win loss rate of about 33 percent or so. And the average win's been about 18 percent. The average loss has been about 5 percent. So uh, we've done well for our subscribers and members. And, uh, you know, we'd encourage you to check it out if you're a trader. Hey, listen, this is great. We're going to have you on again. This is the full, the new moon. When the full moon comes up, I'll be knocking on your door in 14 days. How's that? That sounds terrific. <laughs> hey, thanks for joining us, Jeff, and keep up the great work. I, I really appreciate it. It's, it's, really, uh, it's really great to chat with you because the work that you have is really incredibly to look at, and the way you share it is great, too. So thank you again very much. Always a pleasure, Larry. Likewise. Likewise. Okay, Jeff Huge, Alpha Insights, folks. Okay, let's get back here to some of the things that we need to talk about. Uh, we've already covered that dollar index, and I think that was the main thing that uh, I thought was the most important thing to look at today. Uh, we've had these uh, huge rallies today that uh, we backed off a tiny bit, but nothing but about 150 points in the Dow, not very much. But the notes and the bonds uh, have made some type of a major bottom, folks, in here. Uh, we were... Uh, we were talking about that this week. Uh, I'll get this up here so you'll be able to uh, see where we were. Hold on, and we will get down to these levels here. And uh, get there as a weekly here on the uh, Treasury notes. Uh, we went right down here to that ABCD completion down here, folks. We've had a pretty good rally now. We're trading up above 110 from that 108 level. Uh, the bonds have also rallied about three handles already, and this is only the third day, second day for the bonds coming off the rally. So what it appears is that something from just from thinking about it, maybe the Federal Reserve has found a Ouija on the Atlanta lamp and is going to be able to fix all of our problems all at once. And if they do, I think that'll be great. But if they don't, we'll have to look at that, you know, at a different time. Remember, folks, Larry Williams called for these things to have a heck of a rally. And I, I'm a big fan of Larry's, not because I'm a friend of his. I've known him for 60 some years, 60 years, but the fact that he does just super great work. And this was one of the things that I kept showing you because there was that possibility folks when we when i hear people talk about crash and it was set up so perfectly the problem was it wouldn't go down you had the brit look what all the things that could have given make this thing go down britain collapsing you know all these things and the and the, when the british pound couldn't collapse something was wrong you know that when the market's making new highs instead of making new lows that's not the way it happens in a crash and uh, that's why I was a little skeptical of it. But the bad part was I wasn't long. And that's, uh, you know, a cross that I have to bear. Mea copa, mea copa, mea moxima copa. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. And expect me in the confessional anytime soon. I'll be here. 877-927-6648. Billy Ray Valentine. Captain.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted the chart, uh, the 15-minute chart of the Treasury notes. You know, that's the one that makes the interest rates for your cars, mortgages, credit cards, all that stuff. And you'll notice we had a beautiful Gartley pattern right down here. Remember, we had a buy in it right there, and I put a, <laughs> believe it or not, we lost $100 in it. And uh, boom, it went down and then went back up, and we talked about the uh J uh, John Hill's yum yum you know that would have been the place to buy all retrospect but we did say buy that first ABCD Gartley on page 222 of his book he says find that ABCD move after a bear or bull market has finished and try that one because then you don't have to pick a bottom because here you didn't know what was going to happen and you paid a small price here you had a rough idea you had a perfect abcd at the 618 and your stop would have right below here the risk control of both of these was the same this one happened to work really good see it backed off one more time what's important now folks it's made an a b c d so that means that we should have a correction here it's only a two-day correction but you know this market is still bearish so maybe this is a place to be a seller it's an ABCD in a bull market, so, uh, or excuse me, in a bear market. So if you want to sell it there, that was the place to do it. So I'm just bringing these patterns to your attention to give you an idea that uh, you can just about trade any direction you want once you figure out what the pattern's doing. Always look for the ABCD, folks. 
If you get the ABCD right out of 618 or 50% or 78, but it's got to get there and stay there for at least a bar. Because if it goes down below the bar, it's going to go to the next one. So this one held, and it did make the ABCD to the upside. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Tomorrow will be Jim Twentyman, one of my closest and dearest friends from, well, way back in 1968 is when we first met. And uh, we've worked together ever since. And it's been a great relationship, and he's one smart cookie. He's really hard to open the bottle on, but we'll get him to share some of his ideas tomorrow. We'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. May God bless. 